guys how the hell are you this is Islander. welcome back to the island all right guys i am bringing this uh, to you because i received news all day that the uh lockdown mechanisms on the halo and i believe the shredder have been modified okay this is going to change a lot of things in the game especially for the pursuer and the mercury okay not to mention the other the other weapons the other bots that use lockdowns but these are two of the primary ones okay and uh this is going to create a lot more brawling and if this is the case then you will see another gust come on to that pursuer and uh this will modify the uh ffa game uh, as as a whole as as well as the entire game okay now after we're done with this free-for-all there's a few other things that i do want to cover there's a lot going on in the game it seems like every day or every other day i'm having to bring in a newsroom because as soon as i bring information something else changes the very following morning so a lot of modifications being made this itself in my eyes guys it's a plus and a lot to you i know it is some of y'all may disagree with it and i understand your your sentiment on it but lockdown was becoming a very bad crutch in the game where you were everything was just being locked down the entire game they, it totally took out the the need to battle things out all right uh less strategy that doesn't take very much to shoot a target standing still all right so let's go ahead and get in here let's stop babbling let's go pick a fight and let's test this out I am running a few boosters, guys. We are in Champion League. I know y'all like to see me running without boosters, but uh, yeah, we're going to run a few boosters on this one. Boosters are 30 minutes now, which is awesome for me. And here we go. It drops a sec. Sheesh. I don't like second. Okay, I got like that right away. But you can see that I'm not locking him back down. I can't even target him. <laughs> All right, not what I need to see. We're going to bring the next lockdown weapon into effect. And then we'll bring the pursuer back out a little bit later on in the match. Okay, not locking him down. Still not locking him down. Still not locking him down. There, finally locked him down. After multiple, multiple shots. Okay, let's go ahead and bring the super sewer back in, guys. In this particular match is not about going going for it, uh, you know, going for the win, playing the different bots. This is just to test out the lockdown mechanism of of, of the Halo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has been modified big time, guys. This thing has taken a brunt. And we're going to continue to follow this little this guy right here. And we've got to definitely try to lock him down if we get the chance because he's going to take off on us. There he is, finally got him. Finally got him. After about 15 shots. This is a huge, huge change to the game. Not locking him down at all. 
You see that? Now one of them got locked down. I don't know if it was the other guy or me that locked him down. And I'm good with no lockdown. Lost that kill, not a problem. And I'm locked down. You don't have a jump. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, oh, oh! You ain't gonna catch me. I ain't gonna let you catch me. All right, you're gonna catch me. Uh, let's go back to it. Got plenty of uh, plenty of people tokens. Hey, 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 play nice. Play nice. Coming up over here without aggression. What's wrong with you? Watch your back. Watch your back. Watch your back. Come before you, bud. Make your jump, make your jump, make your jump. Ah, you thought you had to play against a dumb player, huh? And I will get mine before you get yours. Oh, oh, oh. And I definitely have the height of that. Come on, sucker. Woo! Come on here, let's get in the fight real quick. Oh. Yeah, they got him. Oh, mad. I know you're mad. Negative small. Oh, he's getting good shots in over there. Oh, he's going to win that exchange. Yeah, he is. That exchange. All right, this is the last of my revival tokens, guys. And I believe it's me and, and the number three guy that are left. And although I did make a little foolish error there, I will not make a second one for him. I got first place. He needs second place.
There you go. Come on, baby. Come get me now. Is there no one else? Is there no one else? <laughs> I love that line. All right, boys. Let's get over there tell the tape, and then let's move on to something else we're going to discuss, guys. So, yes, the... Uh, the lockdown mechanism has been modified, and that is a huge plus in my eyes. Okay, got a one mil. We did have one player drop out. Uh, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. All right, guys, let's jump over here real quick. I want to show you all something. This week in the test server, we got some stuff coming up, some stuff coming down the pipe. And it's just so funny that we were talking about it the other guy, day, guys, but the modules are now going into test mode. So this now brings merit to a lot of things. And it seems as they have been prepping us for the modules slowly but surely over time here, guys. Okay. Friday, module, fri uh, War Robots Friday, modules are back. Okay. Uh, modules are a new kind of secondary equipment we are currently working on. They provide interesting utility effects to your robots to augment your playstyle new, often unexpected ways. Does this sound familiar? That's right, modules are back. Since we announced modules for the first time back in April and heard many opinions, many were excited, new play styles, definitely options, the combat, interactions. However, note that there were three key issues after your feedback in the early play style. Rising complexity with the previous instances modules, there was too much uh, track resistance modules configure and so on non-transparent uh, mechanics with the introduction of things like resistance and resistance penetration the balance might be a little har harder for pilots to figure out and the equipment for the one percent for in this equipment for the top one percent pilots all right guys and the referring to the the high level uh, champion players how long might it, might it be until uh, regular players can join uh, at least to try the modules in action okay two things i don't like here guys uh, one, they're referring to the top 1% getting their hands all over them, and you know that's going to happen. And two, how long uh, will it be before uh, the average Joe, okay, uh, the, the regular uh, regular player, you know, the free player, is going to at least, at least get to try them. Not cool, guys, all right? They should not be able to at least try them. They should be able to a way to acquire them uh, in-game, and I'm pretty sure they're going to work on that, and they are going to modify that, okay? So we're just going to go ahead and, and uh, take that with a grain of salt. Considering all three factors, we decided to put modules back into a total overhaul. Okay, this is the third time that they've overhauled them. And now bring them back, addressing uh, all of these issues. Step one, introduce the concept gradually. Instead of launching modules uh, with new st uh, st statues effects in one bunch, okay, we spread them out, we spread out the mechanics uh, across multiple updates, 4.0 brought uh, mid combat repaired Mer uh, Mender and Wayland, okay, and lockdown gear, lockdown gear 4.1, and the introduction of suppression of 4.3, okay. All this has been kind of gradually getting us used to what may be appearing in these modules, guys. So this is stuff that uh, we're going to be testing out tomorrow, and I will be bringing you videos of all this, guys. So keep keep your eyes open for for, for the update videos, all right. This is not going to be your average, just right regular gameplay videos. Although we will be testing out the new equipment again, once again. Uh, I will have a ton of videos coming out this week, guys. All right. Uh, this way to ensure pilots gradually got the use of the new concept. Uh, step two, drop the excessive weight. Resistance are gone. Okay, and this is a plus, guys. Uh, you remember a few videos back where we talked about Damage resistance and certain bots were going to have higher resistance to certain weapons, uh, the energy, the, the the rockets and the kinetics, and each bot had a different resistance to a different play style. And your two massive bots were going to be the Bulwark and the Wayland, okay, uh, and the Falcon. You know those three were going to be the three primary bots coming up, okay. Well, they did away with that, okay. There was a lot of uh, negative feedback on that, and I was definitely one of them that didn't like any of that resistance, uh, you know trying to bring older metal weapon back with certain resistance was just going to create the biggest headache in the world for both them and the players because the negative feedback would have been endless, guys. 
So here we go. The resistance are gone. We had several public uh, test sessions with them. The resistance uh, pro uh, proved to be more confusing and excessive than fun. In a result, changes to resistance uh, remained as a supportive uh, mechanic for certain robots like the Falcon. Okay, so in the Falcon, guys, this is part of the bot. You know, when he's in fangs out, he's very vulnerable. Just about anything can wipe him out. But when he's uh, not in fangs out, okay, he has a 66 damage resistance. And he will be the only bot that stays with that particular type of resistance, okay? They're not going to give it to everybody. But as a core uh, balancing uh, shape, they're out, which is a good thing. Big thumbs up, Pixonic. You did really good getting that crap out of here, okay? Because it would have made done nothing but uh, frustrated and already frustrated uh, player base. Uh, there are fuel module types now. Instead of three vague categories, separate uh, slots for each, we we, ju we left just two. Now, the active modules there are passive modules. That is, okay? Step three, uh, make acquiring modules simpler. Good for you. Let's make them simpler. All right? Like, uh, okay, passive module, like Weapon Sand uh, Mark II, the first pack of passive modules will be available for gold each uh, passive module has six levels there is no mk2 layer for the modules thank you jesus upgrading uh, upgrade cost per level will be higher than uh okay upgrade cost. i guess we're going to be able to upgrade our modules upgrade cost uh, per level will be higher than for all regular equipment but even at level one, modules will be very useful with a complete set of tactical options. Now the interesting part. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm looking at here. Hmm. All right. Well, the three the, the, the three packs on the left are the modules. So it is a work in progress. It's been a work in progress since day one. Active modules. Uh, free consume resource on the use. Active modules, potentially most desired and most disruptive ones, are now free on non-upgradable. Each one can, each one of them can use as long as the robot has an open active slot. Whoa! So are we gonna have to remove a weapon to add the modules? Hmm. Hmm. That's why we. That's why we do the test server, guys. <laughs> okay, an open active slot. Uh, we wanted everyone to have access to active modules as the effect of their truly game changing for the example modules call for frequency shifter creates a big uh, do not disturb territory okay this is the ring guys this is the ring i was telling you all about uh everyone inside can be targeted from i'm sorry everyone inside can't be targeted from the outside this is going to make the change in uh, free for all guys no more kill stealing uh as long as this thing is active but they can't uh, target from the outside, but they also cannot target anyone outside. So that means you and the guy that are, are, are you and the guys or guy that are in the ring or the, are your competitors are the only ones that are going to be able to fight it out. Nobody can shoot you and you can't shoot nobody. But I wonder, can another bot jump into that ring or is it going to be work like a force field where you're just going to sit there and wait for that to come down? Now that makes for something else new. You're going to have guys floating around this little ring like a buzzard waiting for that meal to die okay and as soon as that ring disappears guess what hell's coming with me okay it's gonna be massive you're gonna take a massive amount of firepower as people wait for that uh ring to uncloak at least i'm assuming this makes everyone inside the zone focus on each other until one side gets destroyed yeah and then what happens uh leave the circle or frequency shifter duration ends Yep, that's a problem. Because you are a sitting duck. You better find as soon as you wipe your, your your opponent out, you better have an exit plan, guys. You better be looking for somewhere to go. Because I promise you, one if two or three are not, they're gonna be coming by to mop up that 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 easy kill that you're gonna be because you've already been fighting it out with somebody else. That means you're if you got the kill, that means one of y'all is gonna be weak and somebody's gonna come in to scoop up that easy meal. I promise you, I'll come in to scoop up that easy meal real quick. All right, uh, smart user frequency shifter can make a break a, f a fight uh, effective, such as this one, 
can level the battlefield and create huge outplay potential against even a stronger opponent. Even the active module requires some of the power cells to activate. Okay, uh, I guess we have to re like let them recharge, like like a weapon cooldown. Each receive a fair amount. Uh, okay, each will receive a fair amount of them at the beginning, and then will be available to renew the the supply through battle rewards. Okay, guys. Now we've been talking about the battle rewards, and we everybody knows by now that the battle rewards. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, the supply crates. It's not the battle rewards. The uh, supply crates have lost their, their, their keys. Okay, so one of these may also be coming in in the supply crates. Okay, as of right now, we're going to just talk about the battle rewards, because that's what it says. Uh, supply through battle rewards. Alternatively, you can get the sales uh, for gold. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, before I say anything, is anybody here freaking surprised at that? All right? You'll be able to purchase them for gold. And we get gold by either grinding, which we're not going to get a lot of gold, or we purchase our gold. And yeah. Yeah, you see the the fish tail on this, guys? It's starting to flop around. It's starting to come into, into play here, right? We will be able to get these things through battle rewards or gold. This man is going to create havoc in Champion League, okay? Uh, we'll, talk, we'll cover that more, guys. Right now, we're just going through it, all right? Of course, there's concern about about abuse. Yeah, you think uh, first thing that came out of my mouth, Havoc and Champion League. We care we care a lot about setting up the right uh, cooldown times for those with tons of uh, spare power cells. Don't cause a freaking mayhem. I promise you, mayhem's coming. I promise you, Pixonic, mayhem's coming with this. You better calibrate and recalibrate that perfectly because, guys, we are going to set this up in our clans. And we're going to activate me first. And then the second guy is going to come in. And then the third guy is going to come in. The same way we do it with the Hellburners, all right? We don't all just all six of us running there at the same time and try to blow up whatever in the middle, all right? You, it comes in in waves. Wave after wave after wave of terror comes in with the Hellburners, all right? Wave after wave after wave. Regardless of what you do, Pixonic, we will find a way to counter that. So you better get your calculations right uh, because... I promise you, you know, the, the 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 40 heads inside of a Champion League squad are going to come up with excellent, excellent ways to manipulate this particular module, okay? Uh, but I'm going to test them. I am going to test them, and I am going to be extremely fair with them. And if they're good guys, they're going to get a thumbs up. If they're bad, they're going to get a thumbs down. And if they suck, I'm going to tell you that they suck, all right? Uh, I mean, we're not going to just, you know, I've been kind of, hesitant towards them but you know what they just they deserve a fair shake like everything else that they brought up in, in this game and they have taken the time especially on the on the resistance guys the battle resistance and i was mentioned that a little while ago to uh listen to the players and eliminate that that was a good thing all right at least they have an ear open and they are hearing this somewhat okay the fact that the uh the halos in the lockdown weapons were just suppressed after we've been talking about them just this week tells us what that they're listening, all right? They're starting to take account into the players uh, what they got to say, all right? And th we know that we've lost a lot of friends, guys, and a lot of comrades to this particular game here recently. And uh, they might be taking the time to say, you know what? A lot of those guys, were, were a lot of people that they lost were spenders. And I promise you, they lost some whales, all right? They lost the Moby Dick. They lost the Shamu. You know, they lost the unicorn whale. They lost a lot. Okay, and they may be trying to draw them back by taking the time to listen to the player base. And yeah, this is a step in the right direction as well. Uh, pilots start, uh, if pilots start throwing frequency shifters every time its cooldown is off, fights will get chaotic and will get chaotic real quick. Oh, I promise you that, bud. I promise you. We want those modules to be used strategically and not sparingly. Good for you. Good for you. All right? We also want we also, we also pay a lot of attention to the visual telegraphy of the modules making uh, the obvious, uh, uh, making the obvious counterable, okay? The first pack, 4.6, will include nine modules of, uh, on the upcoming test server, and I will be in that test server. You could try them all. Oh, I promise you're going to try them all. Uh, am I talking to myself, guys? <laughs> I think I am already. I think I got a little delirious. You know what? 
We're going to change this, guys. It's no longer the newsroom, guys. This is now the asylum. All right? We have gone local here, man. We have... We are... Damn. We are one ounce shy of a full cup of coffee at this point. <laughs> this is now the asylum. All right, guys. Uh, once again, we encourage for you to check out the modules action, first of all, uh, because we believe that the frequency shifter is quiet and slight to behold at a second. Because in the end, you might agree with us. If this is the case, we need to hear from you. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to test them out, guys. I promise you we're going to test this thing out. And, of course, we know about the other, the other module that we discussed about. But apparently, they're not mentioning that. And that's all right. That's all right. You know, the, the, we're talking about the one that ignores stealth. That's the one that's going to be a major issue. That's the one that's going to create a lot of havoc. You know, but they got all kinds of stuff in preparation. And actually... You know, I'll be honest, guys, a lot of this does sound kind of cool. It does sound exciting. Okay, but it's one thing to test it in a test server and play it and to have fun with it. And it's kick-ass and it's overpowered and it's real badass, all right? And it's another thing to bring it to the live server and create, as they said, mayhem, chaos, panic, you know, uh, loss of players. This is the kind of stuff, you know, when they don't listen to the feedback that comes to the live server, it creates... A freaking headache all right so guys these are the modules these are what we're going to be tested out you know i'm real happy to go ahead and rewind a little bit and i'm real happy about the, the lockdowns guys you know we can finally get back to fighting and you have the potential to lock somebody down but you are no longer guaranteed that lockdown okay now we can get back to the thing at hand that we like the most and that is getting into the fights getting the battles getting our damage kicking a little butt Having fun with our friends. Guys, uh, I'm real, real happy so far with what I'm seeing. This has totally changed my outlook uh, towards uh, the future of this game because it was a little bit concerning there for a while. Okay, it was concerning. You know, am I going anywhere? No, I'm not going anywhere. You know, I have a lot of time invested in this game. All right, I have a lot of time invested in my Hager. Uh, I am now invested into this channel and I am invested into my new friends you know, that I have on, on Facebook and Messenger, which is you guys, my subscribers, all right? And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very different, you know, than, than some of your other YouTubers out there. I will take the time to answer all of your comments. I will take the time to answer you on Messenger. I will take the time to speak with you. I'm pretty simple. I'm pretty down to earth, guys. And that's just that's just me and my style, okay? It's not something to say, oh, this is the type of person I'm going to beat and all. That's just the way I've always been. You know, uh, somebody asking me a comment, that's like a moth to the flame. I just got to fly into it. You know, I got to I got to respond. And that's just the way I'm built. You know, is it a plus? Yeah, I guess it's, it is a plus, you know, because it's uh, it, it creates for, for, for good camaraderie and for good friendship. All right. So, guys, uh, in a nutshell, as Pixar likes to say, this is having a good outlook so far. As far as everything else we got going on in the game, other parts of the game that need to be addressed. Uh, I want feedback from you guys and you know I want your feedback and I need to take notes as far as what y'all want, what y'all think, what y'all want to hear, uh, what y'all want to see, what y'all think of the modules, especially guys when we test these modules, I need to hear back from y'all because my feedback to Pixonic is actually the feedback you give me, all right? It's mine and yours together that makes the feedback that I deliver back to them, all right? I, I, I like to be the voice uh, of the players as much as I can because I'm not just in this for me. I'm in this for you as well. Why? Because you guys are, are, are my boys, man. Y'all are my friends. And you know what? You guys are the Reds. You guys are the ones I compete against. You all are the Blues. Y'all are the same team as I am. Okay? We play this game together. And one thing is I'm going to mention as far as being together, guys, there's been a big division in the War Robots community. We need to unite that division. All right? We need to stop, you know, trying to get into fights with our fellow players over... He's a whale, and and he's a he's a free player, and he doesn't he doesn't pay and doesn't help, and and he pays too much. Guys, get rid of all that negativity, man. You know, make friends with the community. If somebody's a whale, if somebody's a paid player, let him be. You know, if somebody is a grinder, let him be. If somebody is a casual player, so what, guys? In the end, we're all human. We're all people. All right. We just come from different areas, and we have different uh, different personalities. Okay, but in the end, we all love this game. Guys, I'm waiting to hear back from you, all right? This is dragged out more than long enough. 
I'm going to go ahead and end this session right here, and I look forward to hearing from you. And let's get ready for the test server this weekend, guys. Until next time, this is Islander signing out.